Hello, my dear students. Let's complete 8.6 gene expression and regulation. In the previous part or in the previous video, we were talking about gene expression reg and regulation in prokaryotes. Now we're gonna talk about eukaryotes. How do re eukaryotes regulate gene expression? Actually, also they regulate the gene expression by regulating the transcription process because this is the first step in gene expression. How? By regulatory DNA sequences. So they have certain sequence that's considered like regulatory sequence. Sequence like TA, TA, A, this is a sequence. So there are regulatory DNA sequences which are different from one gene to the other and also by protein transcription factors there are other proteins there are called they are called protein transcription factors let's know together transcription is controlled by regulatory proteins regulatory dna sequences and proteins trans protein transcription factor most eukaryotes have a tata box promoter so tata box this is called tata box due to its sequence as i told you there are regulatory sequences this is act like a promoter this acts like a promoter also there are enhancers and silencers some proteins enhancers to speed up the transcription process or silencers to slow down the transcription process according to the cell needs whether the cell needs this protein in a hurry or it wants to delay the formation of this protein each gene has a unique combination of regulatory protein sequences regulatory sequences okay this is the RNA polymerase. The RNA polymerase binds to the promoter. And as I told you, there are some sequences like Tata box. There are some uh, enhancers or silencers to control the rate of transcription. Also, one of the ways of the regulation is RNA processing. As you know, transcription process takes place inside the nucleus. After formation of mRNA, the mRNA should be processed before leaving the nucleus to start translation. translation. What the meaning of RNA processing? This is mRNA after transcription. The mRNA should pass through three major steps. What are those three major steps? Actually, they found that the mRNA composed of some coded parts that are called exons and other uncoded parts that are called entrants. What's the meaning of coded? They carry codes for proteins, but uncoded, they have no uh, function in the formation of proteins. The entrants, they are uh, non-coded parts they don't carry codes for proteins they can't be translated that's why before translation the cell will keep only exons and will process the mrna to be exons only and will get rid of entrance number two the cell will add caps and tails caps for protection of the coded parts tails also for protection and to help the mRNA to move out of the nucleus to go to the cytoplasm to start translation. As you know, after mRNA processing, the uh, processing the R mRNA will leave the nucleus to go to the cytoplasm to start translation process. This is the processed mRNA. So again, what are the three major steps in processing the mRNA? Number one, entrants are removed and exons are spliced together. The cap is added and also a tail is added. In such 